What you guys got another video here for you on how to stop automatic updates on Windows 10. Now what I'll do here is I'll show you how to do this on Windows 10 Home and also Windows 10 uh, Professional. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Windows 10 uh, Pro version first. We're going to go to search and type GP Edit. This will open up the Group Policy Editor. You won't have this for Windows 10 Home, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that with Windows 10 Home. So go to Computer Configuration, then you want to drop down to Administrative Templates. Open this up and then go to Windows Components. Inside here, you want to drop that open and look for Windows Update or Windows Updates, and you will see uh, the actual area where we can make changes to uh, our Windows 10 updates. So let me just open this up here. There we go. Inside here now, what we're looking for is to make changes uh, to our updates, which is configure automatic updates. So look for configure automatic updates and uh, double click on this. You should see some information inside here that lets you understand how this works. So we're just gonna open up this panel here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure this. Now you can do one of two things. You can either enable this and uh, mess around with the uh, settings inside here, or you can completely disable Windows 10 updates via this method here by just putting disable in. But if you do wanna hit the enable, you can hit the enable side of things and this will allow you to make changes. So you can see here, configure automatic updates. You can see here automatic de-download and notified for install. And you can also allow local admin to choose a setting. And you can also allow download and schedule the install and so on and so on. You can just check whatever you like there. Install during automatic maintenance. And you can also do this by a day. As you can see every Sunday, every Monday or whatever day you want to do it. And you can pick your time on here as well. So you can customize it to exactly how you want to receive your updates if you want to do that. Or you can just completely disable them altogether. It's entirely up to you. Once you've got your desired choice, you can click apply and OK. And this will then uh, disable the Windows 10 updates. Now you will need to restart your computer. But once you go into update and security, after you've restarted, you will see it will be uh, blocked and it will stop the Windows 10 updates. You can see here your organization has turned off automatic updates. You can see that listed down below there. But you will um, have that disabled until you re-enable it inside group policy. So if you want to change it back, you can go into the group policy editor and you can also put not configured, apply an OK, restart your computer and that will be back to the way it was. Now you won't see it show up here, but I'll just quickly show you. You can see there, it's still the same because we need to uh, restart the PC. But once you do that, you should be back to normal. Okay, so what about Windows 10 Home users? Now, if you've got Windows 10 Home, you can use a program like this. This is a very quick and easy program to disable your Windows 10 updates. It's called Stop Updates 10. You can see it stops Windows updates, uh, stops false updates and upgrades. It also stops annoying update notifications and you can restore updates with just one click. This is why it's quite nice to have if you're a Windows 10 home user. You don't have the premium features like a Windows 10 Pro user. So something like this is gonna give you a bit more control. So we're gonna download the uh, portable version for this application here and get this downloaded. So I'm just gonna set their terms and download the actual program itself. All we need to do now is take it out of the zip file and put it into a folder. And we're gonna run this and you should now see uh, the program will start to fire up. So let's click OK, click Next, agree to their terms and conditions, click Next, and Next again. And we can then just go ahead and uh, get this running. So we're just going to leave this as is and just go through the motions here. Install. And I'm going to launch at Stop Updates 10. So click Finish and there's the program here. You can see Windows Updates is not blocked and that's because we haven't uh, disabled it or anything like that. But if you do want to, you can click on the Stop Updates uh, there, the big red button. Once you click on that, it should um, partially stop those Windows 10 updates. So let's just go ahead and uh, click on this. It will go ahead and start to do its thing. There you go. Windows updates is partially blocked. 
Now what you can do here is go into the options area and you can also resume these with just one click as well. So let's just take a look at the options area and uh, we can then see what we've got uh, for options. So I'm going to click on the little options button next to the resume updates here. So let's just quickly do this and you can see resume updates until and it gives you a date. You can change this date to whatever you like and that will pause them for that period of time. Uh, pause features updates, major updates uh, two times per year. You can set this up to how you like and you can also set up the pause month updates as well if that's what you want to do. All you need to do is put in a date and day and then select those in there and it should be good to go. Now if you want to re-enable this all you need to do is resume updates and then uh, undo the setting here and it will remove it and it will make those changes for you. As you can see Windows updates is now not blocked so it's put it back to whatever you like. So anytime you want to roll an update out once you know it's safe you can go ahead and do that and also put it back to defaults. Let's take a quick look inside the settings here and go to update and security. You should see now everything has gone back to default settings. That's because we've just reset it with that program. Very simple and easy to do. Great for Windows 10 home users, for people that don't have that control over their Windows 10 updates. Now you can still use the built-in area if you've got Windows 10 Pro. If you want to do it from here, you can do. I've made videos on this already. So if you want to use this option instead of that program or group policy, you can do as well. Anyway, hope this one answers your questions and helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.